This is Samuel from Full Potential Learning Academy. In this video, we're going to learn how to add fractions with different denominators. You may already be familiar with adding fractions with the same denominator. To recap, let's perform a sample problem. Say we have to add 3 over 6 and 2 over 6. All we have to do is add the numerators of each fraction. In this case, we will add 3 plus 2. We'll keep the same denominator between these fractions. This gives us 5 over 6. But how do we add fractions that have different denominators? Let's solve an example of one of these. Suppose we have to add 3 over 4 and 2 over 5. These fractions have different denominators. The simplest way to solve this problem would be to multiply each side by the opposite denominator. For example, we would multiply 3 over 4 by 5 over 5, and we'd multiply 2 over 5 by 4 over 4. Typically, when we're adding fractions with different denominators, we want to find the least common denominator, which is the least common multiple for the denominators. So what we just used is a good trick if you're ever stuck trying to add fractions with different denominators and you don't know what the least common multiple is. So let's go over how to find the least common multiple for the denominators. To do this, we identify the least common multiple shared by the denominator. Let's list the multiples of each of the denominators. We should continue to list them until we find one in common, and it should be the smallest one available. While we list the factors of our denominators, we should count to see what number we should multiply it by. We should list the factors until we see one that they both have in common. As we list the factors of 4 and 5, you will see that the smallest one they both have in common is 20. In the case of 4, our fifth factor is 20, which means that we must multiply by 5. Now we must consider what factor multiplies with 5 to give us 20. That would be 4. Now we will multiply the numerator and the denominator of 3 over 4 by 5. This preserves the value of the fraction. The fraction still has the same value as before, but we are changing it to facilitate the math. We'll do the same thing to the other fraction, but we will multiply it by the number that gives us 20 in the denominator. In this case, that is 4. This now leaves us with 15 over 20 plus 8 over 20. When we add the numbers, this will leave us with 23 over 20. Our answer is an improper fraction. Next video, we will cover how to convert improper fractions into mixed numbers. Now that you've learned how to solve these problems, why don't you try some on your own? See you next time. Thank you.